Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. Um, well, in this tutorial I'm going to answer a question that someone asked me in Facebook and that's uh, about layer masks. Okay then, to how to blend two images together. Okay then, I've got a picture of the sea and I've got a picture of a boat. Well, the boat's not actually in water and there's no boat in here. So what we're going to do is, it's very simple and uh, I'm going to select the boat right and first thing we can do there's many ways we can go around the situation I'm going to give a couple of tips okay then with the boat selected I'm going to click the icon layer mask which is here on the bottom I don't know I'm going to put mouse in here so there we go can you see it cool so layer mask and there we go we have a layer mask for this to happen so you can see any difference um, we need to be painting on black so I would advise you to go with your default colors and paint black on top of this white mask so basically the white will reveal what's underneath or in, so in this case the background picture uh, think about it as a, an eraser so if I'll click and start painting I'm going just to make brush a lot bigger so if I'll go like so well I'm going to make the brush bigger so we can can start showing what we can do and painting away as you may find seen here on layer mask I'm painting with black and you can see my foreground color as well and uh, with painting with um, black I am kind of erasing but in a non-destructive way because if I make a mistake, and I'll show you in a second, I can reverse it. So if I, it's like everyone says, black reveals and white hides. So I'm going to carry on painting. I've got a very hard brush which I shouldn't be using, but for this purpose in here, that is not a problem. I'm going to soften the brush in a second anyway. So going like so, like so, carry on painting painting okay and you can see it starts revealing the picture of the sea so there we go so what I'm going to do is I'm going just to zoom slightly and I'm going just to make it slightly softer going like so, so if you softer it will blend a bit better with the background so I'm going like this very mind it's not perfect this is just the purpose for the tutorial so I don't expect to be perfect it's down to you guys to do a proper job and it nice and and this takes a long time to get a proper if you're raising like this this will take a long time but I'm going to show you an easier way in a second so there we go painting away with black painting away with black just to get rid of this bits of grass in here as well oh well I've done and do which I shouldn't and why I shouldn't because this way there was a chance I could show you something ah, okay. it's not too bad, it's not brilliant it's very bad actually but well okay then see, looks quite good, cool obviously if you do a proper selection it will look even better so let's say accidentally I'll go and erase half of the boat that's the beauty of working with layer masks in here if you swap the foreground to the background that means start painting in white you start bringing back the boat and everything else and everything else as you can see so if you make a mistake you can always swap the colors and you'll be fine I'm going to delete layer mask <coughs> and I'm going to show you another trick okay then let's 
grab the quick selection tool I'm going to zoom so I'm going just to select the boat like so like I said before it's not it won't be a very 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 accurate um, selection but it will give you the idea on how to work with this so I'm going to carry on like so let's get black as well even though there's a bit of grass doesn't make a difference because we're going to be working on the layer mask so it's the beauty of working with the layer mask if you're trying to blend two images together believe me this is the best option okay then I've over selected in here so I'm just going to take this section away and I'm going to take this section away I'm clicking alt the alt key so as you may see the plus on the brush becomes a minus okay then so I'm going to zoom out and there we go a rough selection we have like 20 seconds selection not brilliant but we want to put it in here see we have the selection in here to do that is very very simple with the boat layer selected we just click the icon of the layer mask and there we go and we have a better selection than before than erasing or painting in a mask much quicker brilliant now I've got this picture of this sun of this sky sorry it's, it's a bit better than the one on this picture so what can we do well we can cut it nah yes you guessed it we can use a layer mask so click on the icon layer mask white and uh, I'm going to stop painting in black and as you, as you can see reveals what's underneath see cool however we don't want to be painting we what we can do is click on the gradient and let's choose our foreground to transparent that is black to transparent so make sure you have the linear mode selected roughly in the middle like so if you click shift then just drag slightly the reason why clicking shift is to make it straight and uh, in 45 degrees so just click drag slightly and reveals let's go a bit more and reveals the sea you can also use a layer mask and it's, it's, a lot of people use it for this effect and it is the um, to create reflections as well but uh, I'm not going to take it into that stage now okay then I hope I gave you an idea on how you can blend two images together and how to use layer masks I will do more tutorials based on that very soon thanks for watching see you next time bye for now